So, with patch 2.0.2 out of the way, it is time for that soft announcement of version 2.1. That's right, version 2.1 is on the horizon. It's got a soft announcement today, as I already mentioned. 2.1, Codenate Niven is coming toward us in some time in the very near future. And overall, from what we've seen so far regarding some deaf teasers and whatnot is that this is definitely going to be something along the lines of a quality of life patch there's not a lot of details available as of right now however today on the 17th of april 2018 uh martin onward of the figurehead for the project came out with a next major update 2.1 niven and as part of the update we are adding a anomaly tracker towards the situation log now overall that can be very useful as normally if you want to find an anomaly that you haven't directly surveyed if you've left it alone for a little while then you need to select a sign ship and then look around the map to see if you see any additional anomalies floating around that's now all going to change we now have a situation log that has anomalies cooked into it if you have found it and also what their code name is and what level they are there is currently no um numbering system as in you know from difficulty from lowest to highest right now it just looks like it's going to be set in terms of what you found first and then down the list so no real um setup in terms of how things uh could be what are uh, categorized is the word i'm looking for uh, another big thing as well something that i've uh, wanted for quite some time is the ability of starting a map and then having no vision on where hyperlanes are going. Basically, the idea there is, is that you're starting a map, you can see the galaxy at large, you know where the stars are, but you don't know where the hyperlanes are going. So basically, you have the ability to take a look around what is around you in terms of stars, but you don't know necessarily how to get there, and that basically is going to change the, the way you're going to approach the start of the game because if you know where your choke nodes are going to be you're going to go and build your stuff in towards that general direction which by itself is a pretty big deal uh because basically the fog of war is now a much bigger factor within the game or at least once 2.0 comes out also there is a new icon there for the levels of the scientists on the uns goddard that's cool uh, so that's very nice. Uh, then finally, from what we have seen so far, is, well, it looks like binary and trinary systems are finally coming into our general direction, which by itself is pretty massive, to say the least. Uh, we haven't had binary and trinary systems before. The example that is given right here is Alpha Centauri, which is a trinary system, or at least maybe even a quadruple system, not even 100% sure, but we got Alpha Centauri A, we got Alpha Centauri B, and we got Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to Earth from a light distance point of view. And that's really cool because it kind of mixes things up. Kind of wondering how this is going to work with Dyson spheres as well as orbital mechanics and whatnot. So yeah, we can we can expect a lot more interesting stuff there from a visual point of view, which is kind of cool. And uh, also they are testing out a new Ascension perk, Master Builders. Um, I'm not even entirely sure if this is in a 2.0.2 patch or not, but uh, Habitats, if you have Master Builders now, will have three additional tiles, which is pretty OP, actually. So tomorrow, there will be a Death Diary, most likely, for the official announcement of the 2.1 uh, updates. And I'm looking forward to what the goal is, what the scope is, and what to look forward to in the next few months. Because, well... Let's be honest, the Roman campaign is coming to an end, and the real question is, should I continue with this series, or should I start something new? Because if I have to start something new, it needs to be done before the patch lands, and that is a pretty big deal. Maybe a one-planet challenge, that sounds like fun. Only needs like 20 episodes anyway, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, in the meantime, uh, no Rome today. We're going to go and uh, do something else with that time, uh, as I got a bunch of recording to do for a secondary project. But uh, overall, very excited about 2.1 and uh, what the future holds. Who knows what the future holds? Looking forward to Niven. I was, uh, I was a big fan of the Ringworld novels. But in the meantime, we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take good care of yourselves and as always each other.